What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to play some Judgment, so let's head into that, build a deck. And, well, this jumps out at me. Uh, there's a champion, K, right here, but K, widely considered the worst of the four champions. And I would agree with that. But then I also have an Honorable General here, and a Rose Beam Potion here. So, it's still, Order looks pretty strong right now. Um, I guess an Energy of the Snorkel Hunter, Grave Luck Raider, or Ash Runner, those are only good with like Nationated or Enchantments though. And I have like a Stray Squire here, I'd probably take the General over it, and like a Lone Ripper, no other Decay Scrolls. So it's pretty obvious we're taking the Rose Bean Potion here, great utility scroll in any kind of deck, and we'll probably take these guys too. Um, maybe an Escalon Spires, this gives me growth. Let's take, let's take them. Now, I have an Escalon Spires, Bold Memorial, then I assume Growth over here. Soldier's Bond does give a wild resources because it has Replenish, so that wouldn't be too bad. Here I think I'll just take the Escalon Spires. It's a pretty decent scroll. Now, we might, I don't know, we might uh, want to go into growth a little bit. This will give me order, and I am in need of order. I'll just I'll just stay on color with order right now, because that can give me stuff. Uh, there's a ducal infantry man. That's a good draw. I want some like middle of the pack order drops. That would be that would be ideal. Now here, I don't know. I guess eventual vetter. Um. Stand color with order. Let's take the callback. The Ducal infantryman. Now, resident helm does give magic armor. Not too bad. So I will take that. Not bad for uh, just like protecting a unit against like an energy player. Now, I don't know. I'll take the halls. I might just put it in the deck so I can take it later because halls is pretty valuable. None of the other scrolls are strong enough to warrant putting in. Okay, good. There's another Ducal Imagery in here. Now, Flesh Animator. I guess I should take, just take the reversal. Like, I could actually help in the deck. Now, with Burn, but we're not in energy. I don't know. Tribes in. Maybe I end up using it. I doubt it. Come on, I want some, like, it would be great if I start getting some skirmishers, like, some four drops and three drops in order. We only have like, right now we're going from 2 to 6 to 8, so let's get some more mid-range drops, please. Take the low Darkling. Now this gives me growth, so maybe I should, I don't know, this gives me, oh whatever, I'll just take this. Probably not going to use that, come on, give me an order middle the middle drops, you know? Now Karen's expands is order, but... I don't think I have anything that has Dominion yet, right? Actually, K has Dominion. It could actually, it could it might be able to help, so I may as well take it. Now, this gives me, this gives me growth. So I'll just take that. Um, Underdog Spite. I think I'll take that. Okay, so we have Grounds of the Fallen or Faith Plus. I think I'll just take Grounds of the Falling. Who knows? It might come in handy. Build a Strife for that same reason. I have a lot of Lingering Spells here. Um, Waking Stones is good. If I'm going to need to stall to get up to K in general. I have Earthen Mirth. Uh, I'll take the Earthen or him. Could him waking stones all day. That would be pretty funny. Let's take the him. Because I don't really have a relentless unit to really take advantage of Earthen Earth. Or a one counts on unit. Uh Nognes, sure. Okay, definitely Waking Stones. Pushback is also very nice. And then I think I already have Runswell. I think I'd rather have a focus anyways. Now, fertile soil. This gives me order. Hmm. 
sure why not now purification oh, there's a order drop there's only one drop purification can be really useful but i want to take a second wood memorial we don't really have that much growth stuff that's really that useful so let's go ahead and just take a purification and because we have no real unless i'll just take the grounds of the fallen stay on color um crossbowmen hmm Maybe we should have gone with growth from the beginning. HRV just because it's a rally too. Probably should have gotten growth from the beginning. It's probably too late now. Yeah, we're already at 30 picks. This is going to be a pretty bad judgment deck. I feel like sometimes... Oh, there's a skirmisher. Royal skirmish. That's, that is great. Okay. This deck just got a lot better. But I feel like whenever I try to go order, I almost like force it. Like it always feels like growth comes so natural in judgment. There's, I don't know. I don't know why it feels like that. Uh, Domino Tribesman, Resident Helm, definitely the, the Royal Skirmisher. Okay, come on, give me more. How many creatures do I have? Six creatures? Oh, I have six creatures, really? Six, uh, order creatures, that is. How are we gonna get to the K? How are we gonna get to the K? Nog. Redeploy. <laughs> well, I have a copper. Uh, I don't know. Vengeance fell. Whatever. Ruse. There's another creature. A wing sorceress. I guess I'm not gonna use the bonk. Is good. All right. There we go. Another wing sorceress, a dukum drone, and a wing shredder. That this probably this little run over here kind of saves me. And unfortunately, that's it. So we're gonna finish with what eight cre nine creatures. Uh, it's pretty bad, but we're gonna have a mono deck at least. Or actually, we won't. Um, maybe I'd rather have just splashing in. Maybe I'll splash in. Okay, instead, no, we got a splash and growth because we have the memorials for that. So let's put that in and then a vengeance veil. Okay, let's see how we want to do this. It's a pretty bad deck, but we'll see if we can get some wins with it. Okay, we need all the creatures. Now, this is going to give us growth. Let's see. Growth. What would we want from here, though? Actually, we could put these in them so we can go for two wilds. Then we could start playing these things. Um, but what would I take out? Callback. Can I? Callback probably isn't gonna be that good. I mean, callback might be useful in like waking stones. Hmm. Grounds of the Fallen probably isn't that good. Ruse might be okay. Vengeance Veil. You no, know, I don't think we're gonna need Vengeance Veils. Uh, Grounds of the Fallen. I'm going to take out both of them both of them as well because I want to take uh I'm actually gonna add in the halls of Almasa just so I can take it at the end if I get enough wins so bad order <laughs> yeah it's gonna be annoying to get up to that eight drop if I can get a waking stones in front maybe I can somehow ramp up there without without losing three idols before then so I'll be back when the match is found okay found a match Let's hop right in. Nana Lalaka. Good luck, have fun. And no creature in our starting hand, so this will most likely be a mulligan, unless maybe a top deck. A. I don't know, let's do a kilometer, like a two drop. Maybe I could keep it. We'll see. Hopefully, Nana Lalaka does not have. Alright, decay. And a turn one scavenger construct. Um, now do I want to keep this hand or no? 
I think I'm gonna keep this hand. I think it's really important that we I get the uh, Duke Moon Terminate. Um, we got rid of the early stone pack memorial. Actually, it probably isn't that important that I get uh, early units up because the more things I play early, the harder it is it's gonna ramp up early. We'll see. Okay. So you're a thing. Um, let's get rid of the soldier spawn, I guess. I guess I'll play this. So you're gonna attack before this husk. I don't know why I put it there. Probably should've moved it up so he can't run away. Well, I guess why would he want to run away? He has more attack. We'll see. Okay, uh... Good, that was a nice top deck of Link Sorceress. Hmm. So I have a purification, I think. Do I need purification if I have a Wing Sorceress? I can do the same thing. Yeah, let's get rid of the Ruse. And I'll put the Wing Sorceress in front for now. I mean, a Rusty Beam Potion can get my way like around that. If I need to, I can Rusty Beam Potion the Wing Sorceress to get rid of that husk. We'll see. Okay, so it's going to be hard to get rid of that Rot Eater. But I'll be able to get rid of the husk with a Rusty Beam Potion. I don't love wasting a Rusty Beam Potion just to do that. But, you know. Now, I drew the K. It's gonna take a long time to get to that K, so I think I'm actually gonna just. I think I might just uh, get rid of it. You know? It's just, yeah, let's sacrifice the K, see what we draw. Hopefully, like Awakening Stones. Oh, Kabonk! I forgot the Kabonk, but there's Kabonks in this deck. Um. One problem with that is this that rod eater I can't really deal with. Um yeah, I should have put you behind. Now I think I should save you because you're a decent creature. So let's just get you out of the way. Kill you. And then I could kabonk you. And he won't be next to the Rod Eater, at least. Unless he decides not to destroy the Duke Willing Benjamin. Okay. Ripper. And... Is that it? Okay, so... He is just moving up like that. And now, I guess I'm just going to kabonk, sacrifice, and play this. It's decent protection. It's a very fragile protection, though. Against K, it's pretty solid. Our heart's disciple. Disciple, whatever. Fields of Strife. Hmm. If I redeploy, I can get rid of the river, but then I would just die. Let's get rid of the Fields of Strife. Or scrolls. Okay. I guess this isn't the worst. Duke Long Pitcherman. Um, let's put you in the back again, and I don't think uh, playing Colors Man is that wiser. And even though we have the resources to do it, it I don't think it's going to be a big help. So he is taking out the the memorial. 
Unfortunately, I don't have like another way to haste something and kill that rot eater. There's another rot eater in front of it. Okay, so he has a pretty good deck. There's a focus. Focus might actually be pretty good. I think the only thing that might be able to save me is a waking stones. Let's get rid of color span. Waking stones that I can actually call back that waking stones when I need to. Oh boy. Waking stones resonant helm boys. <laughs> yes. This is the plan. <laughs> now whenever I play a spell, that will be healed. And he can't even get three things to attack it on the same turn because of that uh, scavenger construct in the middle. We have a chance. Unless he has like a random like tick bomb. Okay. So now he has to make a choice. What is he gonna do? Okay, Slayer of Vestige. And he moves down with his Rod Eaters. So I'm actually going to be able to take out the Scavenger Construct, it looks like. But that would frame up some space. Two, let's see. Oh, pushback. I forgot I have that in the deck, too. That can help quite a lot, actually. Um. Callback, focus, redeploy. Or we could read it. Mm, no. Let's get rid of the redeploy. I mean, that could move my waking zones around. That would be good. Now let's get rid of it. Okay, now we got some nice stuff here. Hmm. Unfortunately, uh. Not able to make like a big play this turn. I'm just gonna play the skirmisher and do nothing else. I, yeah, I could play a spell to heal that thing up, but I'm gonna bank on the fact that he he's decay, so he doesn't have direct damage to be able to destroy this waking stones. And next turn, I have spells that can I could use. Okay. Only I only have four resources. I should probably get more. Okay, he's hitting the waking stones. Hopefully, he doesn't have enough to destroy it. I don't know how he destroyed it though. Unless he's like he, he already sacrificed. So we can't have like a random blessing of haste or something. Another one of those. Pushback is gonna be really useful with all these rot eaters and stuff. Okay. So we did not destroy the waking stones. Now we could heal that thing back up. And a general. Hmm. The thing is, I don't know. Not sure what I should do right now. I want to get the general out, but I feel like I'm not in a good position to do so. And unfortunately, I I don't see how I can. I think it's really important that I keep this alive. I do think that. I almost feel like I have to sacrifice for scrolls. I have to. You know, let's just do this. Play you. Call you back just to heal you up. And what do I want to sacrifice? The purification for resources. And I can play general next turn. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to move this skirmisher out of the action. Or do I? Do I keep it here? I'm going to keep it there. 
That means he has a he has a free shot at my Ducal Infantryman, which is unfortunate. But I think the skirmisher can be really good. So now a focus and a pushback for next turn. Might be able to do a lot of damage to all my guys attacking. He goes for resources to be, but he probably has a plan that's not good. So he's destroying that. Or if uh, I can't do much, I could always just play a general. Love to see. Witch Doctor. Okay. Now... As it stands, I'm going to be able to clear this row. Okay, so I think I should do that, right? I would just have to... Push back... Just a focus on you would destroy the rod you're behind. Correct. And I could just push back one. I'd rather him... I'd rather destroy both Rod Eaters and just keep the Slayer Besiege around. So... Wing Charger or General? I think General is going to be better. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, Reversal. Oh boy. Reversal. What, what can we do with Reversal? Reversal might be a play when the Witch Doctor comes about. I think that this play is still the best. So let's take out those guys. Take out the Ripper. And I guess I'd... And I'm also saving some damage on that. Alright, so that... 6 health now. And I have a reversal that I could use. Next turn is probably just a general turn. What's the link with him, of course. And he does move down. And play this curse monger. Okay. Caravans of Expanse. I think I'll just go to the general now. And... I'm going to hide behind here. Although you only have one attack, I am going to use the general to protect. General 6 health. Okay. Unfortunately, this Arhar's Disciple is able to hit the idol behind by hitting the Waking Stones. So, um, if he starts hitting my idols down there, he might be okay. Okay, he does hit the general. Draining Mist, that hurts. It's good to know he has one of those in the deck, though. Now, let's see. No, here's, there's a... Does he have three Rot Eaters in the deck? Wow, this is a good deck he has. Three Rot Eaters, a Witch Doctor. Okay, let's get rid of the Caravans. Escon Spires. You see, that's interesting, but I'm not sure how it's going to help me here. I don't really ought to see how it would help me. Hmm. It actually might make it worse for me the next turn. So let's just uh, run away with you two. Play a crossbowman in front, and that will be my turn. Man, that draining mess was huge because now he gets another attack off before I can attack. And a reversal. I mean, no point in using all this stuff until. If I can top deck the roasted bean potion next turn, I might be able to have a huge play. To get the general to go off and all my other creatures would attack. Okay, curses him. I guess I'm fine with that. Pass a simulator. And that's it. Okay. Let's uh let's get rid of the stone pack memorial. Okay. No. No recipe. I could go for a reversal and hope I can get a recipe potion, but that's just 
that would just be uh, crazy. I, th although pushback's pretty great, I think uh, we should probably just push back the witch doctor this turn. It's gonna take his whole turn to play it out again. Let's do it. Let's get you out of here. Um, all of you are going to attack and I guess I'd like it like this so he's able to destroy something with that guy now hopefully he doesn't have like a soul steal to get rid of the general that would suck yeah I, should probably, I probably should have had the 3 health 2 climate shaman in front of there I also have to worry, if he has like a couple Darklings he just hasn't played, he can win pretty easily. Because this Arhurst Disciple has done a lot of vital damage. Has it been the same one this whole time? I'm not positive, to be honest. Yeah, I probably should have had the, cr the Crossman up top. Although this is a 2-drop, this is a 1-drop, I do feel the Crossman is more valuable to me right now because he's attacking next turn. Four attack is a lot. So I should have put the stronger thing up top so that Nana and Alaka would have to move up to kill it, which would uh, disconnect it from the Scavenger Construct, which is just to make things a little bit easier to kill for me. Okay, so that's his turn. Kills this, that, and... Okay, let's see. First, let's start off by getting rid of the Stone Pack Memorial. I have a K to play in two turns. Okay. Escalons, wait, reversal. One side. Okay, so it wouldn't do it for my side. Like, okay, good. I, I want to make sure this Waking Stones in the front. I think I have to do reversal this turn. Because I don't have a way to destroy this, and this thing must die. Like, if this thing doesn't die, that's really bad. So, let's reverse you. Oh, Rosa Bean Potion. I mean, I wouldn't do it this turn. I guess I could kill this if I really wanted to, but I don't think that's entirely worth it. So, how do I, I want to also, I want to take down an idol, kind of. I guess that's good. And then... Um, whatever, this is fine, I guess. And I'll do nothing else. Oh, I forgot about that. I surely forgot about the uh, Revenant spawning from this. I guess it's not a big deal. I mean, he hit the Waking Stones back in. I can heal that thing for two health every turn, as long as I have a spell to play. Okay, so he is... Uh, that's... Now we have to start doing big things. Oh boy, he's filling up. He has a lot of, a lot of resources, and he's going to get a lot of scrolls from that. Okay, I have two curse guys now. I haven't seen any poison from him though. Okay, so now he has wow, he has two, four, four ride eaters now. Okay, so let's see. Roasted bean potion. I mean, I can't really roasted bean potion though because it's not enough. Uh, actually, I could roasted bean potion like you right now and just take you out while I can. That wouldn't be the worst play. Uh, but you're not a huge threat. Hmm. I have to get this K out. So we're going to go for resources, and I guess I should just roast a bean potion. 
but he's not a huge threat. That's the thing. I have to play. I don't know. I have to play. I could call back you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's call back. Play it. And sacrifice the resonant. Sacrifice obviously calls him on Lhasa. And I could recipe. I think I should hold off though. Yeah, we're not going to just give him another card to play. So we can take out my Ducal Infantryman. The reason I call back to him is it would just get rid of the Languid. Okay. What's he doing here? Moving about. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoop. This isn't too good. Okay. And he's placed around really well, like, the low health unit is, like, touching the two rot eaters and the animorph construct. I guess I should use the Rosa Bean potion to take you out while I can. I want to take the curse monger out though. Whatever. Let's get rid of the. Oh, I actually can't kabonk yet. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go for scrolls. Ruse. Ruse is not really doing much for me right now. And then a re revenant's gonna spawn too. All right, whatever. We're gonna just kabonk here, make all this stuff stronger. Okay, that's kind of good. Now I drew this, and I can take you out at least. Okay, that wasn't the worst. And now, if he wants to draw a card from this revenant dying. Tell you how I loved it. Hit nothing. The K's not gonna really gonna be able to save me. Yeah, K's not like a game changer like the other champions are. Like I'll be scared. I would be scared in a match if I see an Urhalt come out because I know he's gonna either roll this guy that's like attacking every turn the uh, like piercing thing that's giving extra energy and probably attacking every turn with bombards then k and Nuru like similar to that too but k meh she looks cool give her that okay this guy has too many not a lot guys too many rot eaters for me to deal with rot eaters are her disciples disciples i'm not getting like a a chance to just play the K. I wish I could just purification a rot eater to make bring make it into a three three again. That'd be cool. And I'm actually I'm actually losing the Royal Skirmisher here. Actually, I'm losing two units here. So that freaking sucks. And there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just at least get some damage on him. Yeah, we, we're, we're out decked here. He's a much better deck. Very strong decay deck. My deck, uh, I mean, it had... Just didn't have enough creatures. That's really what it is. I only had nine creatures. There's the Witch Doctor. And his a lot of good cards. Okay. So is there anything I could do? There's a caravans of expanse. Yeah. 
He's just getting cards and everything. There's no way I'm going to win this game. I think I'm just going to surrender. I'll show him that I had a, had a K, though. I'll show him. There you go, dude. I had a K. So we'll play to Na 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 Laka. He put his uh, units around that uh, animivore and those rot eaters. Like, I just couldn't really destroy them. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content like this. Guys, you guys should all get excited. Scrolls is being released very, very, very soon. And expect big things on my channel shortly after the scrolls release. I'll try to go over the daily videos, like catering to new players. It's going to be exciting. I'm so excited for scrolls. I hope you guys are too. So stay excited, guys. Stay pumped. I'll see you next time.